In the last video, we talked briefly about the IF and the IN qualifiers. Now, I want you to understand how they interact with some commands, so we're going to look at examples. Here I have a do file that I have written already with some examples. And first we're going to talk about IN and then IF. But before we do that, we need a data set. So I'm going to execute all this to load the data set from the internet. So I select everything and press control D. You probably recognize all the commands above. If you don't just check them on the help file. Okay, so we have here on the right hand side, a data set of high school. Let's browse our data a little bit. So this is giving a gender here, one for man, two for woman, or an ID, race, and some other variables, including grades for different subjects. So let's close this and go back to our do file. So in is used to define a subset, to define a range of observations you want to analyze. And you, it can be used with most commands. Before we do this, let's look at the help for if, sorry, not if, in, help, in. And here we have in and range. So the syntax is you need some command. In this case, we're going to be using list. Then you use the in and then you specify a range. So a range is going to be a number, a number slash a number, a number slash L standing where L stands for last and F standing for first a slash and then a number. So in at the end of the command means that the command is to use only the observations specified. Take a look at this. So we're going to specify a certain number of observations and it is allowed with most stata commands. Here are a few examples. Let's go use our own. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is to list the first 10 observations. So in one through 10 for the variable race. So we select everything and we press control D or we use this little execute button over here. So here on the left hand side, we see that we have white, African-American, Hispanic, white. So here are the first 10 observations for race. So this is a categorical variable. We know there is an underlying number. So let's suppress the label with the option no label. And here we see just numbers. So we see that four stands for white and seven is three. So seven stand, three stands for African-American and one stands for Hispanic. So this is how we can know. Just use the option no label. Now we're going to use L as an abbreviation for list and RE through SO. So we are going from RE as an abbreviation for read through an abbreviation for social studies, which is SO. In minus 10 through minus one. So what we're saying here is we're going backwards. We want to go from the very last observation, which is minus one, or we can just use L to number minus 10. So let's list these 10 observations, select everything, press control D again. So here are observations from 191 until 200. This is how we do this. And we can substitute this minus one for L, which is last, and the same thing is going to happen. Here you are, same results. And if you want to check, you can use this command over here and substitute one for F, meaning that we're going to ask for the first. Here we are. So if we execute the first command, control D, we have the same thing. So we can either use one to say you want to look at the first observation or F, either lowercase or uppercase. And the same for L, either lowercase or uppercase, if you want to use to talk about the last observation. Just note that F has to be in this first part here before the rest of the range and L has to be in the end of the range, okay? Good, we're done with N, let's go to if. So once again, let's check our hub file for if, and here we are. So the syntax for if is you need a command, then you use if, and then you need exp, which is an expression. So exp in the syntax diagram means an expression like age greater than 21. 
And to use these expressions, you need to know how operators work in Stata. So there's a PDF you can download attached to this lesson, which talks briefly about operators in Stata. And here are a few of Stata's operators. So uh, operators for addition, negation, logical operators, relational. Uh, here's the order of evaluation and some examples. So let's look at our own examples over here. Back to our do file. So I want to list the variable race to make a list of the observations of the variable race if and only if the variable PRG type is exactly equal. So we need to use true equals to the string vocate. So let's do this. Control D. And here we have a list of these observations. Just to make sure we have done this right, let's add to our list PRG type and execute this again, control D. And we see that here in PRG type, we only have results for vocate, which is probably vocational. Now let's list everything. We have not specified a variable list. If read is below 50, and this, this operator here means or, write is below 50. So we want to list every single observation for which the read uh, grade was below 50 and the right, sorry, or the right grade was below 50. So let's see everybody who got a bad grade on read or on write. Control D. And here we have our list. It's a pretty long list. So note that read is below 50. Hmm. Something wrong over here. Let's go back to our do file. So read is below 50 or write. Okay. So either read or write is below 50. So in this case, for example, we have read above 60, but write is below 650. So we can list this observation. Now let's go back to our do file. And let's change this for and and see how it changes. So let's use the relational operator and. So let's see how it changes. Control D. So now note that read and write are both below 50 in every single case. Finally, let's count. So this command is just going to count. It's going to give you a number. Count all observations if read is lower or equal to 50. So look at this operator, lower or equal to 50, and right is lower or equal to 50. So it's similar to this expression here. The only difference is we changed the operators to make 50 be included in our sample. So control D. So we have 60 observations out of, let's count everything. So we have 60 observations, 60 students out of 200 students who had a reading grade and a writing grade below 50, which is 30% of our sample. It's quite significant. So that's it for now. I do recommend you take a look at this do file over here, which has the examples we have used, some comments, and it's really worth going through. So you better, you can better understand how to use the if and the in qualifiers. And don't forget to take a look at the operators and try to build some expressions yourself.